Hey y'all, it's me. I still sound like a little man, but I'm okay. So I want to thank everybody for your well wishes. I swear I love y'all so much. So thank you for writing me, saying I hope you feel better and all that crazy stuff. Because yeah, strep throat is not a joke, but I'm better now. I still have, you know, a little horse in my throat, but I'm okay. So also I want to thank y'all for all your suggestions. I want to thank Atia, um, Kiki especially, Kiki, and everybody else who... Um, I asked about diversion hair and wrote me back and everything and told me what was up. So, um, yeah, I, I took a lot of things into consideration, you guys. Um, I looked, um, I joined Black Hair Media, that's what it's called. I joined blackhairmedia.com, so I'm a member. But if you can tell me how I can activate it, I guess, because it's not letting me make a new post. It's make, letting me, like, add on to posts, but not make a new one. I don't know if you have to be, like, a platinum member or something to do that. But, um, whatever. But, I went with Tiffany Hair Company. Tiffany Hair. Because, um, um, there's no reason why I didn't do Juju Hair. There's no reason why I didn't do Juju. Um, it's just, I seen more visual aids with Tiffany Hair from Kiki. Miss Diva Light, I seen more visual stuff from her. I was getting... You know, I was seeing blogs about Juju hair, you know, comments about Juju hair, or the, I've seen a couple of videos on Juju hair, but not as broad and clear and informational as Kiki had on Tiffany hair. Cause I could look at Kiki videos and see her hair, you know, clearer, and she talked, she did topics on how you wash it, topics on how how you straighten it, um, how you reuse some hair from last year. So all that I took in consideration by watching her videos, and it kind of gave me a better idea on what Tiffany hair looks like. Now, that does not mean I'm not going to do Juju. I'm pretty sure Juju is a great company. I might do it later on in the year, next year or something, but there's no reason why I did not choose um, stuff. And I think at a time when I was ordering it, um, going to order Juju, the hair was on sale, I think. And I've seen a couple people saying the hair that they got on sale from Juju was Bad Batches. I don't know if that's true, but i also seen that most Indian hair companies who got the hair on sale, it's usually not the best batches they have. It's very rare that you get the best batch when the hair is for sale because they're trying to get rid of it, which makes sense. But me, I don't know what a bad batch is and a good batch. This might be a bad batch. I don't know because I never had this hair before. order hair from LennoxHair.com. Like, I've been wanting that hair since Sin City. Where you been? Like, I, where, like, seriously, I've been looking for new videos from her, and she's not nowhere to be found. <laughs> she is so beautiful, does great hair, and I've been eyeing that Virgin Indie hair since she had it. That was the first time I actually seen some Virgin Indie hair that I watched on YouTube. I was like, what kind of hair is that? And then she said, Virgin Indian. I Googled it, I was like, oh, no, I can't afford this. And it was, like, last year. It's like, when she first put the video up, so that was a while ago before you know, version Indian hair was the new Remy, you could say. Um, but I really wanted Lennox hair because another girl has, I'm sorry I don't remember your screen name, but she's new to YouTube. Hey, girl. And she had, like, five videos, I think. And her five videos were worth 50,000 videos because she has the Lennox hair also. And she um, washes it. She showed how she glues some things right here to make it fuller. Like, her videos helped me out so much. So I went to order the hair from Lennox.com. Sold out as always. Why is they always sold out? They sold out all the time. Like, I put it in my little sharpie cart, then I go back to the little red dots. The little red dots. I'm like, dang it. I'm sold out. out. So, these, it came in this little bag. The postal bag right here. Okay. And it came in these bags. It came really like quick, y'all. I ordered this um, Monday. Today is Thursday. Yeah, real fast, real fast. Um, and it came with these cards. I got two cards each for um two um bundles I bought, and it just says about Tiffany's hair, showing you everything in case you want to order. I'm showing everything possible with this hair because I have no idea what to do with this stuff. I really don't. Um, then you have the prices on here. This is the price they um she had tied around the hair, but this is not what I paid. It says 125. I ain't paid as much for it but this is what i'm showing you everything that was tied around on the hair she also added this little thing i was this was cute the mixed chicks um leave-in conditioner and it says um 
Are you tired of defining your race instead of defining your curls? <laughs> I thought that was cute. So she put Very this cute. in there for a sample. And um, <laughs> here's the hair. This is the 16 inch. Beautiful. And this is the 14 inch. Okay. Now, like I said, I didn't pay $125 for these. Go on the website to see how much the hair costs because I didn't pay that much for it. That must be the original price of the hair like any other time, but I didn't pay $125 for this. Um. Also, let me tell y'all one thing. I'm like, I'm a virgin to virgin Indian hair. So, if I sound real stupid, I really, I really don't know what to do with this hair. I really don't. This hair smells like the freaking Indian lady was running late for work or something. And she said, come on, hurry up. She went to the temple, did her little thing. It was like, come on, shave this head off my head. Come on, shave it off, shave it off. They threw it in the bag, sent it to Tiffany. They put it on the wealth and sent it to me. That's how this hair smell. It smell like this lady. Whoever hair this is, like, I don't mean to sound ignorant. Because I don't know if it's supposed to smell like this. But it smells like the person who had this on their head didn't wash their hair in, like, months. That's what this hair smell like. I'm sorry, that sounds stupid, but seriously, this hair smells like, it smells like a person. Like, it smells like another person is following me. That's what it smells like. It don't stink. That's one smell I will put on Facebook. It smells like dead animals. <laughs> like, I didn't know what else to say. It doesn't stink. Like, ew, it don't smell like that. It just smells like somebody's house. Like, you know how you get, everybody has their own smell of their house. It smells like somebody's house. Now that I washed it, it smells like somebody's house. But before, it really smelled like something dead. Like, seriously. But it wasn't like a trashy, bad body smell. It just smelled... It's... Oh, I, I... I don't know. It really irks me. It makes my skin crawl. It really irks me how this stuff smells. Like, I, I heard on blog... Trust me, I did a lot of research. They said this hair, you know, some people have to wash their hair eight times to get the smell out. Some people have to wash their hair constantly for like a week before the smell completely goes out. So I'm wondering, this is the smell they're talking about? Um, I don't think it's Tiffany's hair. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's Tiffany's hair. That's why I smell like this. I think it's because it's virgin Indian hair that it smells like this. I don't think it's because it's where I got it from at all. It's just, it smells very strange. Anyways. So I washed it four times. Yes, I washed it four times with, um, like I said, I'm trying to get rid of this stuff. The shampoo, coconut milk. Washed it with this. And I used the coconut milk conditioner with this. And it's so funny, y'all. When I was washing this hair, it got my, it got the hair so hard. Just like my natural hair. When I put this in my head, it felt like that squeaky feeling. It didn't, I, didn't spit, I didn't hear the squeakiness, but I sure enough felt it. When I was washing this, it felt squeaky and dry and rough and very hard. So I was like, that's good because it's showing me this is real virgin hair because it did exactly what my natural hair does when I wear it, when I put this it stuff made in my it hair. Very, very silky smooth. When I put the conditioner in this hair, this didn't do my hair like that. But when I put it in this, it made it smooth. So the conditioner works. I think coconut milk works for the virgin Indian hair. But the shampoo, I'm not really sure. But I'm going to keep using it because I'm almost out of it anyway. So I won't have to buy this again. Um, plus, um, is her name Andrea? Deandra? I'm sorry. Um, love the skin you're in. Her, she um, washed her version in the hair she got from Juju with this stuff. So I was like, oh, I got it in my house. I might as well wash it too. So that's what I washed it with. And it don't feel super soft. But as you see, it's a nice flow to it. It's beautiful flow. I'm not even like... I'm just moving my arm. There you go. See how it's moving? Nice, shit. great flow. How much did this shed? I said this in like one of my videos like probably a year ago. Do your natural hair shed? Well, we would definitely shed. Point blank, period. I don't care. I'm going to let y'all know. When you say your weave not shedding, it is. You're, when you sleep, it's shedding. When you're asleep, it is shedding. Want to bet on it? Hair like it shedding. falls. When it touches your, especially long hair. Somewhere, the hair is falling off. Somewhere, um, your hair is shedding. And that was the 16-inch. Now, the 14-inch, 
right here, this didn't shed hardly at all. It didn't shed at all. I got a few strings, because, like, I was rough with this. I'm telling you, I was like, I mean, I was rough. I'll try to get this to my lot. But, um, it didn't shed that much, actually. The 16 shed it way more than the 14 inch. Um, another thing, I know people said that Indian, virgin Indian hair is measured differently, um, than beauty supply style hair. But, when you say that, I see people measure it, and it's actually the length that it says. So, I'm confused, like, why do people say it's measured differently? Because when people measure it, I see pictures, they got 16 inch, and it's 16 inches long. I guess they measure curly hair by when you straighten it, how long it be. Which makes sense, because if you get curly hair, that's 16 inches long. But when you flat iron it, it's 20 inches. It's not really 16 inches, you know what I'm saying? So, I understand when um, they measure it by... If you were straighten, when if you were right. to straighten, uh, number sixteen. This is sixteen inches right here. Number sixteen. The sixteen inch is um actually um darker than the fourteen, which is fine because I actually wanted to oh, try to dye my hair. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's different. As you can see, it's different colors, but it's it's good that way. I don't care. It's pretty that way. And I didn't want, like I told Kiki, I didn't want it for length. I wanted mainly for fullness. Because you know I like big hair. So I wanted mainly to be full. So that's why I got it 16 inches long. I tried to play it safe. I was going to get a 12 and a 14. But now that I see it, I'm glad I got the 16 and the 14. That's why I think I messed up my um, Bobby Boss hair. I didn't know what to do with it. It was so freaking long. That hair was so long. Now when you flat on that hair, it was not no 16 inches. It had to be like 52 inches. Because that hair was like touching my booty. That's how long, and I can't, I don't do long hair. I don't know what to do with it, so. I wanted this for length, and I'm very happy that it's this What? Right here. I just need to know everything that needs to be known about virgin Indian hair. I don't know what to do with this. Um, if you have any tips on how I can make it look full, you know, like full, when I sew it in, let me know. I have a technique I might do that I think it will work I for know, this. I just don't know what to do with this hair. I'm scared to mess with it. Like, I really... I don't know what to do. It's different. I'm telling you. This is definitely not no hair store hair. This is, like she said on here, and your stitches, a free, flowing, natural look. Free flowing. And it supposed to look styled. So, I will be doing a natural sewing. It will not be no ghetto humps. It will not be no, this is outrageous jewelry. It will not be no jewelry defined hairstyle at all. It will be what it's supposed to be. And it looks like my natural hair. It matches this texture really good. Like, let me see. This is my hair right here. See that? I really believe it matches my hair. I've seen straighten before, so I'm not worried about that. And when I straighten it, I'm doing a part down the middle. So when I straighten it, it's supposed. To, I'm just wanting to look natural. I'm not using no beeswax. I'm not using nothing. It's just going to look like I just straightened my hair and went out the house. That's what I'm trying to achieve with this Indian hair. That's why I bought it for a natural so people can look at me and be like, is that your hair? Instead of, who did your hair? I want them to be like, is that your hair? Oh, what kind of hair is that? It's a difference. Um, so, yeah. Holla at y'all later. Bye.